Yo, what's good? It's the Boy Dude Reviews, episode three of the podcast with Boy Dude and the Bass. Today we'll be talking about stuff in media and all that jazz. So let's start off with the first topic Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah. Update. Let's just, just go straight into it. So before you logged into Discord um, today, I actually just finished the Android Saga and I'm about to start the Cell Games. <laughs> yeah, so I've got a lot to say about the Android Saga. I basically recorded my thoughts and opinions on that saga before I logged in, so I can edit that video like in a couple of weeks and you can hear that and watch it. But I'll just give you my thoughts now. I think this yeah, is the best have... this is the best saga so far, in my opinion. It, it's definitely the best one. Did you ever see the story like take that turn? No. Were oh my bored? god. So in my recording that I did like two hours ago, I just kept talking about the twists and the turns and I was like, What 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, okay, I've got the Dragon Ball wiki up, so I might just like do like a fresh recap and like quickly talk about it starts with the trunk saga and so I think we talked about trunks for a bit a few a few it weeks is, ago. Yeah. So Trunks basically um, came to Earth to tell the gang that, oh, um, Goku is coming. The gang is like, wait, how is he coming? How does he know that? And Trunks tells Goku that, oh, I'm from the future and you're going to get sick. You're going to get ill. Oh, yeah, by the way, Vegeta and Bulma are going to have a kid and that kid's me. And I'm like, what, 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 what? It, it was all so surprising. I wasn't expecting trunks to be like i don't recognize these androids androids 19 and 20 i think they were it was the fat guy and the old man androids if you remember them it, it wasn't as so like hey that that's me because uh piccolo picked up right first because of his super big ears and then because they whispered it first to goku and then like piccolo overheard and then oh yeah piccolo overheard <laughs> because he has those big ears <laughs> yeah it's um the reveal of all that was a bit weird because um, his hair color is purple. Um, Bulma's is blue, and Vegeta's is black. I, I'm then, guessing when you mix black with blue, it turns into gray or purple. That, that's what I thought as well. But apparently, <laughs> apparently in the manga, yeah, it was his hair was intended to be blue, not purple. Oh, okay. Which is very strange. Yeah, but that they made strange. it purple in the anime. Okay. But, yeah, that is a bit bizarre. It is, yeah. But yeah, so Trunks kills Frieza and his father, which was, whoa, surprising. Goku couldn't do that in the previous arc because he's all righteous and I am not going to kill you. I'm going to just leave you here and I'm going to fly away. And But Trunks was like, now nah, I'm going to kill you and he killed them. And that was the end of them and the trunk saga ends with the gang the z fighters they call themselves um they train vegeta trains in the gravity room and yeah so overall yeah like uh i think i got distracted because i was looking at wikipedia so the android saga yeah i liked it overall i liked the characters of the androids the boy and the girl android 16 android yeah. 17 I saw those guys like years ago uh, on like a, I don't know if it was Tumblr. Like I remember, I do I, recognize these des these designs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, you've, you've definitely seen some of these yeah. characters before. But... I, I honestly thought they were Pokemon characters when I saw them. So, oh, geez. yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> but the the orange android, Android sixteen, is it called? The one with the orange the, hair. The, the big one with green. Yeah. Yeah, the big tag guy. It's 16, yeah. I think. He reminds me of Brooklyn from Beyblade G Revolution with how, like, calm he is and, like, how he's always one with nature. Like, all the animals are yes. always running around him. And even Brooklyn has yeah, orange hair as well, so... <laughs> yeah. Who is Brooklyn? From Beyblade G Revolution. I didn't watch that. Ah, okay. Okay. He was... It, it looks like that show was inspired by this one because... Tyson is pretty much Goku in that, like the, the spiky black hair and yeah. even the voice. Is Tyson in that revolution? Yeah, G Revolution, yeah. It's like an older oh. version. It's like 
he's all he's like a teenager in that so he looks all grown up and he's got the spiky hair. Oh. he looks more like gohan if i'm being honest with his ponytail he has a ponytail now? yeah or did he always have a ponytail i can't remember. i think he just grew it out like oh fear. yeah but yeah i God, yeah this arc so much happened it was it was a long arc yeah, it was, so much like uh, goku yeah. on the verge of dying yeah. new android i might, uh, yeah, I might have to break it down if i'm being honest so so the arc begins with androids 19 and 20 arriving on the battlefield and the z warriors are fighting them in the city and then yamcha Wait, gets oh sorry we're 17 17 who's 17 <laughs> was it the boy or the girl you said 18 and 19 arrived. I'm like, wait, oh, what sorry. about 18? <laughs> uh, I meant 18. 19 and 20. 17 is the boy, then. Yeah, so 19 and 20, the old man and the, the short tubby guy. All oh, right. So Android 20, plot twist is Dr. Giro, which was surprising yes. to me. I was like, what? What does that mean? So... Yeah, um, they fight, and then Goku is out of breath, and then the gang are like, oh no, he's got the illness. And then Yamcha is like, I can't fight because I'm weak, so I'm going to take him back to his house. I love your theory, that when you start talking about it, like, hey, this is what's going to happen. Like, Gohan's going to get older and trained, like, young trunks and all this stuff. Like, wow, yeah. man. Like, you have no idea how this story is going to unfold. I know. It didn't turn out what I thought it was going to be. I thought Yamcha, oh, Yamcha, my gosh, he keeps, he keeps stumbling Taking in this L's, act. after yeah. L's, after L's, yeah. This, so he no just gives it. up and he he just goes and he gives Goku the antidote and he goes to Chi Chi's house and all that. Meanwhile, Piccolo is fighting alongside Vegeta, I think. And then that's when Trunks is like, wait a minute, these aren't the androids from my timeline. These are completely different. So Piccolo battles Android 20. And this is when Bomber and Trunks discover the time machine. And they're like, wait, there's another time machine here. And I think Gohan discovers that it was a creature. And that creature is yep. revealed to be Cell. And I'm like, there's another alien. Like what? But no, it's yeah. revealed to be Dr. Giro's creation that he made in his lab. Dr. Giro is an interesting character because I don't remember him in the original Dragon Ball show. Neither like, do I. Because I know he's part of the Red Ribbon Army organization, but I just don't remember seeing him. I remember the leader I don't dude. think he was a significant like, character. Yeah, I remember the short leader man. I don't know if it's like a manga. The Red Ribbon Army character. itself was a big part of it. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so yeah anyway uh what happened next oh dr Giro awakens android 17 and 18. they kill him they just they absolutely just yeah kill that's him. it they kill him they kill him yeah now i remember and that's when android 18 who's the blonde girl faces off vegeta and in my review i said that she looks like roxy mitchell from eastenders Oh my, what a throwback. <laughs> wow. Wow. You just pulled that one out of nowhere. Wow. <laughs> yeah, like like the moment I saw it, I was like, is that Roxy in an anime form? <laughs> what do you mean? Isn't it Ronnie? Like she had uh, a dust cut, like a, a short hair. Ro Ronnie was like the taller one with the long hair. Oh, so, yeah. okay, okay. Because Ronnie was the one that had that hairstyle. Yeah. For a time. Like for fair enough, you are fair height wise, yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, look wise, she looks just like Roxy, and I, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't stop thinking about wow. Roxy. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. What a throwback. Yes, indeed. But yeah, uh, so she fights Vegeta. Vegeta's like, oh, I'm gonna take it easy on you because you're a woman. I think that's what he says. And... Very much, yes, yeah. accurate. Vegeta continues to fight and gets beaten, and... That's great. That, that shocked me when that happened, because, you know, he just achieved Super Saiyan, and then now these androids are on the same level as Super Saiyan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, 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 that, that, that was mind-boggling when I first saw that. Like, how strong do these people just keep getting? They just keep getting more powerful and more powerful, and then I think Vegeta gets defeated by them, and... Yep, Android 18 asking. kisses Krillin on the cheek, and then Krillin just starts to be infatuated with her. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah. We'll get to Quiddle that later on. I've got some wrist. opinions about him. Yeah. Oh. And all right, that's when the go this... easy on Omi, okay? Yeah. He's all right. He's all right. Let's go to the next part of this saga. They call it imperfect, imperfect cell saga. Yeah. Which is part of the Android saga. There's like sagas within sagas. It's sagas weird. within sagas. Yeah. There's like yeah, the main story becomes a side story. Yeah. That side side story becomes the main story, and then because it's called the Android saga overall, but we've got like trunk saga, imperfect saga. Perfect Cell Saga, all within this Android Saga, so... Uh, just a bit of a... bit of a tongue twister. Yeah. Yeah. But, we start to see the Cell guy, and I'm not gonna lie, the Cell, like, when he's in his first form, the, with the green skin and the, the polka dots, it made my skin itch. Like... It, yeah, he's Oh my hideous. gosh. It, yeah. Yeah, like, I felt really uneasy looking at him, but Piccolo and Kami fuse together because Piccolo needs Kami's powers, and pow and Kami is like, oh, I don't know about this, but he eventually um, submits to Piccolo, and he becomes a super Namek. In this part, I thought Piccolo was going to be like a completely different person, but no, he's still the same, same person. He's the same, same guy. Same, I was a bit disappointed. Design. I was like, oh, oh are we going to get a different character? Ooh. But no, no, nothing. Meanwhile, if I think the gang transferred Goku to um, Master Roshi's house so he can get better. And what happens next? Oh, yes. Piccolo fights the Cell guy. And Cell's got some interesting powers. He reveals that he took the cells from Goku, um, Gohan, Trunks, and pretty much every single fighter they fought since the beginning. And Dr. Yeah. Jiro used all of their data to create the imperfect cell. And that was surprising because he revealed that he made these little bugs that sort of took their powers or their cells I think yeah cell yeah and this is when Tien comes out of the blue and he does some pretty interesting stuff he uses his um what was it what's his powers called um Ten show or something Ten. 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 I think I've got <laughs> We're it just on using this the wiki like, or whatever uh, let me let me get it up I've got it on the wiki. Oh, it's called the Neo Tri Beam. The Neo Tri Beam. Yeah, he uses that against the Cell. Tri Beam attack. Yeah, right, Tri Beam right. attack. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I was surprised he was able to uh, put Cell down for a bit while the androids made their escape. I was very impressed with Tien in this um, moment. But because... before that, like the uh, like the reveal of Cell was creepy as well because it's like Piccolo was investigating this area and you see clothes everywhere just yeah yeah that was clothes. really creepy but Piccolo... and then it turns out he's just been absorbing people yeah but he couldn't um, stand a, a chance against uh, Piccolo um... and it was a scene as well where uh, Piccolo's arm gets cut off and yes, then yes, yes, that so, like, scene. reattaches it and then Cell copies it yeah, I like that whole scene because Piccolo's arm gets amputated and then Cell's like, oh, you're getting weaker. And while he's bickering on about his master plan, he re Piccolo regrows his arms back and he tricks him. And I'm like, oh, Piccolo, you're so cool. <laughs> you're so <laughs> sneaky. That was, that was cool. But then we get then, like, introduced... Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, he transforms after absorbing uh, as much it. people as he can. Yeah. That's it. And I do not like this form. This this form is just too blocky for me. It's pick. What is it? The second form. Second second form of cell. Yeah, of cell. I Imperfect. Yeah. Cell, I, I will admit, I I, I kind of prefer it. It's less creepy looking, in my opinion. He looks more Hello. human in this um, form. But he's so blocky. Yeah, but what are with those like? bat wings at the back of him like he's got these like two oh yeah yeah things sticking out of him i don't, I don't get that 
is that like a wing or something like that? It's a wig, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But then, meanwhile, we get introduced to something called a hyperbolic time chamber at Kami's yeah, house. Yeah, baby! The like, hyperbolic. What on earth? They're just, like, they're just dropping all these, like, law things regarding Kami's palace. Like, what? I didn't... They did not introduce this before. I was not aware of this. <laughs> like... So apparently you go into this chamber and while yes. one day passes, a whole year passes when you're inside. Yeah, it's wow. uh, it's pretty yeah, it's it's intense. It's just really remarkable. So that's when Trunks and Vegeta they um train and then Trunks comes out looking like a Chad, like he's all grown up. He's so much taller now, he's buffer, he's got longer hair. Yeah, and I'm not a fan of the oh, hairstyle. You obviously. don't like you don't like his hair. I don't like it though. There's a lot of lines on his hair. Like I've got this image yep. pulled up, very liney. Um, but Vegeta, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of Vegeta in this um arc because as soon as he comes out of this chamber, he is so arrogant. He is so cocky. He thinks he's better than everyone and. I don't like the way he treats Trunks. Well, listen, listen, dude. He's had a whole year to get stronger, okay? Yeah. A whole year. He is the strongest being in that world at that moment. Yeah. But I mean... So, you know, if you were Vegeta and had that big head, of course, of course you'll be cocky. Of course. Uh, I just... It's just that he's so cocky and arrogant, and we'll get to it later on, but him losing to Cell, I was just like, ah... Because it was Vegeta that made Cell go after Android 18. To... 18, yep. He was like, yeah, I want you to take that Android and get powerful so I can fight you. I'm like, no, you could have defeated him when he was in his um, weak estate. Ah. Oh my gosh, I was so I was so angry watching those episodes. I was like, just just take him out and then go home and have or kill like... Or kill Android 18 as well. And, ah. um... And then Krillin, oh my oh. gosh, Krillin. So Bulma makes this device where you can deactivate the androids with a push of a button. But then Krillin yep. is like, I can't do it because she kissed me, so I'm going to crush the device. Yeah. Uh, it's, um, yeah. <laughs> that, that kiss affected too much. My gosh. I mean, Krillin had a girlfriend in that filler arc, so after that breakup, I'm, you know... He's feeling a little bit, you know. Yeah, he wants a robot now. He wants a robot. He wants uh, a robot. But yeah, at the same time as all this, Gohan and Goku train, and then Go Gohan becomes Super Saiyan, which looks pretty cool. It doesn't take him that long, and it looks like he's about to surpass his father in that um, time chamber. <laughs> Go Gohan's arc in this is just so cool. Yeah, he's really... um. And he's and they're wearing that same armor as well. Yeah, I remember like Piccolo and Tiana. Like, I'm not wearing that. I don't want to like Vegeta. Vegeta sucks. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I like the outfits. Um, I think it suits Gohan more than Goku. If I'm being honest. Yeah, Goku. He needs to wear his his. Yeah, his, he needs his, that his, orange. Red with his yeah. Although, like after this arc, there's like a filler episode where Goku is wearing this like orange jacket. He looks pretty cool in that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, jacket. That cool. jacket. Oh. I like that outfit. He fits. The orange works. Yeah. Orange just works so much better with this dude. Not blue. But, okay, so Gohan and Goku are training in that chamber, and Gohan keeps having nightmares of um, yeah. his friends and family dying at the hands of Cell. And I actually thought Gohan was having memories of the future at first. And I was like, what's going on here? Because at the same time, um, Trunks has like a flashback to his timeline of when he and Gohan are fighting the androids. And Gohan is all grown up in that flashback. And I don't like his hairstyle in that <laughs> when he's all grown up. I like the long hair. 
the um, the, was all this taking place before Perfect Cell or after? Because I watched all these episodes like back to back, so it all kind of merged into like one big episode for me. But oh yeah, so yeah, it was like we got Trunks's like backstory on like he and Master Gohan taking out the androids and all that, and apparently Cell killed Trunks in one of those timelines yeah yeah to get into the that time this machine. is where it gets yeah. yeah this is where it gets a bit weird like how many timelines are yeah, there yeah I, I was and then trunks is like oh it doesn't matter what happens in this timeline because it's a different timeline so whatever happens in this timeline will be a new timeline so i'm like what yeah so it's, it's like a multiverse so basically in a way. So it's stupid. So basically, Trunks from that future timeline just wasted his time because it's not going to affect his own timeline. Yeah. Like, I, I just don't get it. So, but out of the goodness of his heart, he went to one timeline where Goku was dying and he saved him. Yeah. But what about all the other Gokus that were dying? So I, I have no idea what's going to happen at the end of the Cell games. Yeah. But I'm, I've got a theory that is Trunks going to go back before the androids invaded and do something to stop them i I don't know i don't know if that's going to be in spoiler territory but i don't know i don't know about trunks yeah we'll just have to wait and see but yeah gohan becomes a super saiyan and what happens next oh super vegeta that's it so vegeta um battles cell and he gets all muscular like so he it's basically Super Saiyan V two and essentially <laughs> their muscles get all bulky. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, there's this one um panel with Vegeta punching um Cell that looks really nice. Like I like the shading in it. It looks super cool. He looks like an action figure in this moment. They've also said the, the benefits of having that form as well. Yeah. And then the negative. Well, yeah, yeah, they it's... said that like it drains your powers quickly, and Goku yeah. was the only one who realized it. And at the same time, yep, Cell takes out Vegeta. Trunks tries to help him out, but he's no match against him. Oh, this is the time where Cell takes out Android eighteen and becomes the perfect Cell. So I'm probably getting the order mixed up, but yeah. Super Vegeta prepares. I can't remember oh. as well. Yeah. I've got it on wiki, so I'm just reading it off wiki. Oh, fair enough. So Super Vegeta prepares to unleash his final flash. Trunks comes out of the blue and oh my gosh, he turns into the Hulk. Like, he is massive. Like, <laughs> when he turns into Super Trunks. Like, his muscles get huge. Oh, yeah, I hate it. I hate this form. Of you hate the form. I don't like. I hate. <laughs> She's huge. Like I've got an image right here. Like what the heck? <laughs> Is it like the design you hate? It's the design. I don't like how muscular like that. It's just yeah. it's on steroids. Essentially, it's just <laughs> it weird look, to look at. It it's look natural. natural. It, it, it's too it doesn't much. Doesn't look natural at all. It's, it's too much. But Krilla and um runs away with Vegeta and then Cell is like hmm how did you and Vegeta get strong I need to know but however you did it I'm going to start a tournament and then he announced this is when perfect Cell has emerged right this is after him yeah yeah um absorbing 18 and then coming this perfect creature yeah that's it so Sal is like, yep, I'm going to do this tournament. And everyone is like, oh. So the whole world is like running away from Cell, And Sal is just terrorizing these poor civilians. And he's just lobbing cars at people. <laughs> and yeah. all that jazz. He has a whole broadcast as well. Yeah, the whole broadcast. Games. Yeah, it's wild. And he's going for the TV station. Oh Where yeah, he just, yeah. He he drops that, that the TV was station. So cool. <laughs> like he's he's in the the studio and he's just flying. Like yeah. he's ascending for each station. Yeah, oh, yeah that's it. That's it. Yeah. And that's a good 
that idea is so good. So yeah, it's like they got ten days left, you know, until the tournament. So it looks like Master Roshi also wants to take part in it as well. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'm yeah. guessing Jackie Chan is gonna make a big return to the world. That's gonna oh be yeah, that guy. Oh yeah, wow, Jackie yeah. Chan. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, to totally gonna show. Up. Yeah, totally chill. And yeah. what else? Uh, well, who was the Asian guy um, from the original show? That keep your hope. Keep, keep your hopes. Master Roshi helped out because I, I remember at the end Just of their keep, fight, keep, keep your hopes. He keep gave him down. water for his land from people. Like I liked him. He he was cool. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, keep keep your hopes though. And who else was there? I'm trying to think of all the people who attended. Oh, the announcer guy. The uh, I liked him. Like, he was cool. He had the same voice as Sanji from One Piece in the dub. Really? Yeah, the announcer guy. Oh, that's interesting. That's pretty. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the saga so far. Yeah, well, it's really uh, part the one. The greatest, yeah, the greatest Earth character hasn't showed up yet, has he? I don't know who this greatest character is. <laughs> You'll know. Okay. And uh, he he will destroy Cell. I think I've seen all because like, I I know I knew of Trunks and I knew of Vegeta and I knew of this Gohan guy before watching yeah, the show. This guy is also. This character is also everywhere you might have seen him before. Oh, is it um, Broly? Because I know there's a Broly movie or no, something like that. No, not Broly. So guessing... no, this is a human character. This okay. is a human character. I don't think I've seen this one before. Um, I'm just trying to think of all the characters I've seen like over the years that popped up in Google and all that. Um, uh... Just know this guy is a living legend. All okay. right, he has Kaido status. Oh, okay, okay. I'm getting excited. Now. I'm hyping him. I'm hyping him <laughs> so much, but uh, I don't want to overhype him. But he's a disappointment. Uh, I feel yeah. like it's Broly because I keep hearing people talk about Broly. No, no, no. <laughs> Broly. Broly is a. So funny thing is, with the movies, they're not canon. Are they not canon? Um, Broly. It, yeah, uh, Broly is a non-canon character. Ah. Uh, yeah. So. Okay. Broly won't show up any time anywhere oh, in the enough. show. But I still highly recommend watching his movies as well. Yeah. I think I saw the Ball fourth Dragon. movie. It was... What was it? Dragon Ball Z, the movie. Oh, I saw it. Try... It, was like, it was 40 minutes long. Um, try and uh, watch movies here and there. Don't... don't I, I wouldn't recommend binge watching them back to back. Oh, okay. Because you're going to see characters on, like, less than super saiyan level and then at super saiyan level oh, and it's okay. just weird to see the character progression you know okay because if you're watching yeah. somebody if you're watching goku where he's at super saiyan level now it makes sense to watch a film where he's on that same power level oh that's true yeah maybe what i should do is i should just watch the whole show and super and then watch all the movies no but no oh. nah, i'm telling you not to do that i'm telling you yeah <laughs> Oh, fair enough. Um, but yeah, but I just I highly recommend just squeezing in like a movie. Like I don't know, there might be a Reddit for it, like best type, best place to watch the um the movies as well as the anime at the same time or whatnot. They probably oh, have okay. like structure. Oh, fair enough. But yeah, so yeah that's that's the that's the arc um my theories for the cell games i'm guessing that the z warriors are gonna all team up to take out cell master roshi's gonna yeah. also fight tian chao chu yamcha i think maybe you know that that girl who kept transforming into another girl launch she might uh, make a no, return do you, do you remember oh. her uh, from the oh, first no. show no. It was the girl with the gun, and she kept turning into this like soft version. Oh, of her. yeah, yeah, her. yeah. She's like, and she's yeah. like a doctor, Jack, doctor, yeah, Dr. Jack Jack Mr. Hyde. Hyde. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, girl. yeah, yeah, yeah. She may come. I think Chi Chi might also fight because she's a fighter as well. She fought in the tournaments. Oh, absolutely, yeah, definitely. Chi Chi's been here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And who else? Uh, I'm trying to think. Apart from the Z Warriors, are there any other characters? 
Oh, who was the emperor guy? Emperor Pilaf. And his um, cronies. Emperor Pilaf, wow. Yeah. I think he might. The little alien creature thing from the first um, season. That's, um, yeah, he's definitely going to be here. I think he might make a return. I know in the filler episode that I watched of Gohan, there was... Oh, who was that? Dr. Jiro? Not Dr. Jiro. It was... It was another character. It was like a rival man of Master Roshi from the original show. He was the teacher of Just Tien and so. Chao Shu. Yeah. Yeah. He kind keep of confronted so. Goku and he ran away in that episode. So I'm guessing he might make a return. <laughs> he flew on yeah. a tree. And yeah, keep your hopes low. Yeah. I think that's all the characters I know because yeah, I can't think of yeah. any. It's just the Z yeah. warriors. Like, when you think about it, the the world is a lot smaller than I thought. It's just Goku, it's, uh, the Saiyans, and it's, the Z. It, it truly is. It truly is Naruto beating Naruto Shippuden. Like Dragon Ball Z is, you know, Naruto Shippuden. Yeah. Where you have all these characters from the first one, but they only focus on certain characters in the. Yeah, Shippuden. it's interesting it, because it's the same. In that original show when Goku was a boy, like Tien, Yamcha, they had massive character arcs, you know? Yeah. Like Yamcha was like an antagonist to Goku and then he had a, a change of heart and even Tien and even Piccolo. But now they're kind of like side characters now. I want more of them. So, ah, you know, I want to see them. Maybe, maybe, maybe they could, I don't know how a human can be a Super Saiyan, but it, it could be possible. Bulma is a really, you know, intelligent lady and her father in that lab of theirs. They could come up with some drug or and, or something that can make humans into Super Saiyans. That'd be cool. Like, imagine seeing little Chiaotzu as a Super Saiyan. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I think they call it Super Saiyan is because Saiyan is a race. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it could happen. It could That's happen. why Super Piccolo, you know, like Super yeah. Nabbit. Oh, Super Namek, yeah, that's right. I'm trying to think. Trunks, I don't know what's going to happen with him because his timeline, all of his friends and family are dead, so I I, I just don't know. Like, He's going to just go back to rubble if he goes back to his timeline. Yeah, it's... Uh, it, it, his involvement here is not doing anything for his timeline. It's just weird. I just don't get how he can exist with baby trunks in the same timeline. Like, I, I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> Universes will explode now. It's, yeah. it's, there's no rules here with time travel. But... Yeah. Uh, who else is there? Oh, I want to talk about Mr. Popo. I don't think we talked about him before. Oh, jeez. That's just one special <laughs> character. So, yeah, like... That was the one thing I heard about this show was Mr. Popo. And I knew that, I heard that like in the 4 kids version, they changed his color or something like that. But in the yeah, original purple, one, like... he's just a black color. So I, I, yeah. I, I don't get, I, I kind of like him. He's, he's, he's got a calming voice. Kami. <laughs> I like the way he says Kami. But yeah, I heard he's controversial. Like, is it because Very of the way he looks? The way he looks, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, the people of colour in this show aren't, you know... They're not designed well all the time. I think it's gotten better <laughs> over time compared to the original seasons. Mr. Popo ain't human as well. He's, um... I don't even know what he is. <laughs> what yeah. the hell even is he? <laughs> He's just he's just a thing that exists that torments his okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can see the controversy behind He's that, that he's that thing that just is the corner of your eye. He's always yeah. there but you just you just can't see him. I remember Boma was freaked out by him when she first saw him. <laughs> oh dude, I really want you to watch the abridged Dragon Ball Z abridged. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, speaking of abridged and all that, um, I want to talk about the soundtrack of Dragon Ball Z. Um, Dude, so, it's so cool. So basically, 
so how I'm watching Dragon Ball Z is I'm watching it on Crunchyroll, which is the Funimation versions, you know. And apparently the score I'm all listening to is the original Japanese score. And I did a bit of deep oh, diving. Oh, and apparently oh, so not to Bruce the Bruce Falcona score isn't on Crunchy slash Funimation. It's not. You oh, have to dear. Watch it. You have to watch it on like a DVD called The Orange Bricks, apparently. Oh, no, I had yeah. no idea. You missed out on a lot of cool stuff. Oh, uh, what? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is... Yeah, that's the I kind of like like this track, you know. It it, it kind of has that build up, that's you know. Good. You know what that's, I mean? That's yeah. pretty good as well. Yeah, and then I want to compare it to the um, Bruce version. <laughs> Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm not gonna Dude, lie. To you. It does sound much no better. It, it does sound it's a lot better. No it's a lot more in it has a how can I put it? It has like an eighties um alien vibe to it, if you know what I mean. Like it has a bit of I'm not gonna lie, that does sound pretty good. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. dude, dude, <laughs> yeah. dude, let me it's just pretty play, good. Play, let me play that one again. This is crunchy. I right? live on Frieza. Oh, dude, I... oh, this animation is. Oh. What's that? I didn't hear that. The animation, animation is so good. Oh yeah. Let's <laughs> do a Japanese version. And also, of course, what's that? I feel like they keep reusing the same soundtrack yeah. both. They reused it a lot. Okay, so that's the Japanese version. So yeah. you got that in your head? Okay, yeah. let me just. <laughs> let me go on Wikipedia. Dun, 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 dun. I, I want to go to. Dragon Ball Kai, Dragon Ball. Oh, you want to watch a Dragon Ball Kai? Yeah, I want to well. see that version. Uh, let me. Go. What is this? I love you. What is this? So good. I love you. Dragon Ball Kai. So let me find. Here we go, Frieza. Oh, it's in the square ratio. That's interesting. Yeah, because they made a HD. Ah, yeah, because they remastered it. I yeah, saw, yeah. Um, Super Eye Patch Wolf or one of those guys talk about the remastering on YouTube. Yeah. Apparently, I mean, it it's interesting yeah. because they they zoomed it in, but like the remaster, they widened it, so you see more on the sides than on this one. So this one, you see more of the top and the bottom, but unlike the remastered version, you see more on the sides, which is mm. interesting. They remastered it twice. Then. Yeah. You, you ruthless, heartless bastard! It sounded like so louder in this one that I noticed. It, I, I could barely yeah, hear the that. music in this one. Not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> I still prefer the dun 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 of the Japanese, but it is what it is. Anyway, let's go to Bruce. Let's see what Bruce has yeah. to offer. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Okay. Nice Whoa, okay. Look, look, this is the opening. Press play. Press play. <laughs> wow, that's different. It's not the. Awesome. Of the um, Japanese. I know. I know. Okay. Wow, that's different. Right. This! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, that, that wasn't bad. 
Dude, you know, the... just carry on watching the entire season. Uh, <laughs> do this score, okay? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I just wish the... so Oh leaps. my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's leaps and bounds. Yeah. Oh, wow. I think if I'm going to rank the three, this might be one, then the Japanese is two, and then Kai is three, Japanese. in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay, that was. That, it felt more cinematic, if I'm being honest. You know, like. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it had a Yeah, movie. there's a lot of love and attention to this movie feel. I can see why people liked it now. Okay. Wow, okay. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I changed my mind. I just wish the picture quality was better <laughs> on this site, you know? I know. That sucks, dude. It because sucks. They say you have to buy the Blu ray and the, all the orange box, but they're so expensive. Like. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z. Caesar. Oh, that's a spoiler if I do that. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's like 20 quid per set. Like. Ooh. Yeah. Like, it oh. is not fun. Amazon UK. I, I was looking at it um a couple of days ago. Um, So season four, which is episodes uh, 108 to 139, is 23 pounds. Like. So if I'm to buy yeah, the whole I, I, set, we're looking at nearly £150. And like, uh, does this include the original score? Someone said it does. It, you have the option to change the audio. Like, I think it's the orange set, but you, also the Blu-rays. So... Okay. I've been thinking of buying it just because of the score, but, you know... I don't think it's worth it. Dude. I don't think so, it. yeah. Because I'm watching this for the first time, so I don't really have like a nostalgia towards um, anything. It's, 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 yeah. it's, this is your options. Do you want to watch it in high definition, but with a, a crappier score? Or do you want to watch it with the superior score, but with crappy quality? You know? quality. Yeah. Uh, I might just keep looking for like sites that, you know, have a better, better you know, um, picture yeah. quality, HD version of. Bruce, it's just a Crunchyroll version. I know. I... Yeah. And I don't know, like, why it's been so finicky with that score. I don't know what the backstory is of why they're treating him so, like, poorly. But yeah, that, that's that. Oh, yeah, there's Demon Slayer. Don't know if you want to watch that. Do you? Do you, do you, do you want to watch it? <laughs> it's eight. When you said it's eight episodes, now yeah. I'm like. Do I just wait? I have no idea, dude. I have no idea. Yeah. That's what they're saying on Twitter, that it's... The Blu-rays have confirmed that it's going to be eight episodes, so... Would you rather just wait a week? I mean, this is like 48 minutes, so you're going to get quite a bit, you know? And then you, you yeah. can just watch this, and then how you can high, wait. Yeah. How hype is the end? How hype is the end? Of this episode? Yeah, how... Ah. Does it make me want to, like, wait next week like, i can't wait for next week's episode why does it have to be seven days long why can't it be now you know is it does it give you that type of feeling it from what i because i watched it in the cinema um because it aired oh, yeah. with the previous episode so from what i remember it you have like it's very comedic towards the end it's the, the beginning part is a bit serious but then towards the end it's more comedic it just sets up the arc you don't really need to see what happens next week but Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess it's up to you. That's, 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 uh, that's my biggest problem with Demon Slayer. Yeah. Every episode ends, you know, with me wanting to watch the next episode. Yeah. Look but how many likes it doesn't end in a cliffhanger. 54, if it doesn't 000. end in a cliffhanger. Yeah. It's a, it's, a it's a cliffhanger regarding this character. And that's all I'm going to say. Is it a significant character? It, kind of. They, they do have a, a role to play. But I don't know how you view this character because you might not think, but yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. You know, it does end with a cliffhanger. Shit. Okay. So you. Damn. Yeah. No, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> it, oh man. Okay. You might, you might wanna. I don't know. I'll wait then. You might wanna wait. It's just eight weeks. So does it also? Does it just depend on the character as well? Yeah, it depends on the character. You know. Yeah. I don't know the character. Should it's I tell so you who the character is? Oh, it might be a spoiler. Oh, no, no, no. Well, Maybe what is it like? Tell me his significant. Is he a significant character? Is he a side character? Is he 
this character is a you sad know. character and they <laughs> they were important in a previous arc but then you don't see them for a while but that's what i'll say that's what oh. i'll say oh that's what i'll say okay that's what i'll say i don't i don't want to give it away so it depends on you you know like okay so, but was he like prominent in tanjiro's arc whatever is he like a this significant person role in was quite Tanjiro's life important but okay that's a clear not idea. at the same time it's like they were a side character but they had a a role to play yeah, mainly in season like one character. That's all I'll say. Yeah, that's all. I'm thinking of that character. I'm thinking of that exact character. I think you know who it is? Okay. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking right, about. So, okay. So, so that's interesting. That's, yeah. It's an interesting... Um, The way it starts as well... Oh, that's all I'll say. It's like... It starts and ends with a... Ooh. That's all I'll say. What could you even say in season four? Ooh. You have, your, you have your eyebrows raised. You know. Okay. From what I remember. But yeah, that's I'll, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. Yeah, you I'll might, might want to wait. You can have. Well, yeah. the whole arc is the Hashiro training arc. Yeah, arcs, the right? training. That, that's all I know. Okay. Speaking of seasons, did you see My Hero Academia yet? I have not. I have wait. not, but I was spoiled. Yeah, the spoilers were everywhere on Saturday. The spoiler I see um, was a manga comparison of the episode and like dude that's a huge spoiler what you just showed me i think i know that american's power oh, okay and it look that looks insane yeah i don't remember what i looked at i don't remember i don't i can't remember what i saw but it looked ridiculous do you know what else happens in the episodes no it's just that it's okay, just that, okay, okay. Pa- that that power okay you may want to I, I know you know who the ua traitor is because she told me so yeah, 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 yeah. But you don't. But know he's what... such a little. He's a twerp, though. He's a nothing character. Yeah. He's like, yeah. It was a twist. No one expected it. Like when we read it in the manga, but that's where I stopped reading. So I think. Oh, okay. I think I know when that they're going to air it. Um, it might. Yeah. I think it's next week. And then yeah. next week I'll be anime only. Damn. Yeah. How many episodes for this season? It's confirmed to be 21. <laughs> oh, that's so long. That's, <laughs> that's is long it like part one, part two? Yeah, parts one and part two. So you're going to have... I think it's going to be like non Maybe like a break for a month and then they will continue. Like last season. Oh, wow. Yeah. A month isn't really that long either. Yeah, they had a break for a month last season because it was Christmas break. I think. And then they continued. I wasn't a big fan of part two of last season. Oh, when I didn't... Deku went edgy. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't a big fan of that. The only standout moment from that part two yeah. was Urakaka, whatever her name is. Urakara. Ura, Urakara. Ura, 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 yeah. Ura-laka. The un the the yeah. Urakara. Yeah. Her, she was on the microphone and she's just screaming. Yeah, that was a that was a good um, moment. I was like, that was a. Like, that's just like a proper standout moment from that. Yeah, that was a good season. Yeah, that was a good arc. Yeah, I mean, I was, I, I, I enjoyed it. I read in the manga, so of course, I think some of the paneling was a little bit better in the manga for like one or two scenes, but it was good adaptation overall. Fair enough. Yeah. But yeah, this season, I'm interested, you know? Um, I'm very excited. I can't wait to see what you think of these first two episodes when you watch them. Try not to get okay. spoiled. You... I will, I will, as soon as part one ends. Yeah, I'll let you know when part I'm guessing one ends. This arc will, yeah. I'm guessing part, this arc will end part one, right? And then the new arc will start yeah. in part, part two, Part one right? should end on okay. episode 12. Okay, so when episode 12 is up, yeah. I'll binge watch it, and then yeah. we can have the whole discussion. We are currently on episode 2 of this season, so yeah. you've got about 10 weeks. 10 to weeks. Wait. Yeah. That's so those, these will be like juicy podcasts as well, because we've got like a whole discussion on Demon Slayer, and then after oh, that, yeah. a week, two weeks later, it will be... Oh, my hero. 
Yeah. <laughs> you don't see Kaiju and hopefully number by eight. then I get a uh, microphone. Try and see Kaiju number eight as well. That was a that's a good show. Okay, I'll try. Yeah. And I'm, I might need to see some sort of leveling as well. Not... You know the show that I want to watch? Uh huh. It's that little kid who's a king or something. Oh, Ranking of Kings. Or Prince. I think so. Ranking of Kings. I think it's Ranking cool, right? of... It has an interesting art style. This one. Yes, that's yeah. true. I want to watch. So it's made by Wit Studio. Oh, hell no. You yeah. said that. <laughs> Oh hell dude, yeah. you see that. Yeah, what studio? Oh hell. It? Yeah. Hell, fuck that studio dude. <laughs> they ain't making a season two. They they, <laughs> they already sold it to somebody else. Mappers oh, yeah. probably picked it up. That's true. <laughs> well, speaking of fuck Wits, that studio. Yeah, I know you know about the One Piece remake, uh yeah. yeah. Like what do you think of it overall? Like are you excited for the remake? No, I'm not excited. Not <laughs> I'm excited. not excited. No, maybe for new people, uh, it's probably going to be exciting for like a new way to introduce the show to people because the the you know those arcs are so outdated. But we've already got a remaster of the oh, first yeah. season, you know. So, I like the little poster. It's like, kind of cute, Luffy on the hill. I don't know what this thing is. It's a windmill. It's Do you know windmill. how many episodes it'll be? I'm guessing it's going to be like 12 episodes because you know what modern anime is like. They adapt like 12 episodes per season. But it's going to take years and years until they finish, you know? We'll be in our 40s by yeah, the time I they're done. Yeah, I don't see the point of this. I don't see the point of this yeah. if they, unless they follow through to the end or up until yeah. the time skip or something. But um, has it, how, how it was, like, did, it, did One Piece end last year? The live action. Yeah. Yeah, it ended in August. It started and ended in I'm August. I'm surprised they're looking for casting now. Yeah. I think because of do you remember the strikes that happened in Hollywood? Oh I think right. They delayed right. It. Yeah. Uh yeah. And then Mr. Five is a male twenty to twenty nine who's black. And Crocus. I don't know who that is. I forgot. Who I that don't is. know who that is. Crocus. I think I think Crocus is the, the whale dude who looks after the whale. Ah, uh, yeah, you might be right there. You might be right. Because Speaking... sometimes people could take it a bit too far, you know, for no reason. Yeah. Especially with fictional. fictional. If it's to do with history, it makes sense. But when it talk, comes to fictional settings and people getting upset with, like, people are introduced, you know, certain classes are introduced and that, oh, yeah. people don't get upset about it. There's no need because it's already fictional as it is. Well, let's go on to the next topic of the day. Um, I actually got a list of things to talk about. So we've talked about Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. DVDs, Blu-ray and streaming. Well, what are your thoughts on it? Do you still collect Blu-rays and all that? Not really, dude. Um, physical media is extremely good and important to have yeah. because um, if, cause there's, there's come a point where a lot of stuff... Are moving towards your digital format and yeah. i don't know if you remember or i don't know if you were gaming at that time but when the ps4 was first released yeah. there was a demo called pt okay and that you can't play that demo no more and basically that demo was a tease for this uh silent hill game but oh, really that game was that game was cancelled uh, and they okay. removed that pt demo and that demo is one of the scariest games you'll ever play uh, I see. and it's you can't play it anywhere you, the only way you can play that game is if you have a hacked ps4 or you buy a ps4 with that game installed on it yeah now they can easily do that with any digital game if you don't have the physical media mm -hmm. and um, recently there's a game called stellar blade okay and a lot of people, it's a very controversial game. You could Google it. But um, if you have a physical copy of the game and you yeah. don't download any of the updates, you can get the superior version of the character models. Uh, but if, okay. you download the, if you download the digital version, yeah, it's, that's going to be patched out. Oh, There's okay. no way of getting the 
other character models, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, that makes sense. And you sense. could Google it. You could Google what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade. And then you can um, type in patch 1.0, <laughs> controversy or whatever. Is that the Hell Divers thing that people are talking about? No, no, no. Hell Divers. No, Hell Divers. Oh, okay. Totally but that's my thought on. Um, I think we're getting dangerously close. Where we're... if the get if if the publishers don't have the license no more, they will easily remove that game from your library. Oh, okay. But if you have a physical copy of it, you're safe. You know? So yeah. Yeah, we're getting close to that. Oh, okay. But yeah, physical media. Um... Yeah, but also, I, sorry, but with also with physical media, sorry. Yeah. I don't have any. I don't. You don't I don't have any. collect anything. You know. You don't I. Have any. I. Yeah. I, I don't like discs. I don't like inserting it. I hate that. When was the last time you bought There's a not... Blu-ray? A Blu-ray movie. Yeah. I've never bought a Blu-ray. You've never bought. Movie. Never. Not even when you were like I've a kid, never... like a DVD. Not when or I was like a kid. Nope. Or like a VHS tape. Nope. It's, never watched... it's not convenient. You've me. never watched a VHS before. I've watched it. No, no, sorry. Blu-rays, no, but DVDs, yes. Yeah, so. I was going to say, like, what? Yeah, chest, yes. Yeah. But not Blu-rays. Not Blu-rays. Oh, okay. So... It's just, it's yeah. not convenient, it's dude. Not convenient. It's not yeah. You know, I don't want to keep switching the disc in and out. It's, you know, I'd I mean, rather look at just these collections that people have. Look at that. It looks cool. It's nice. I don't have any space for that crap. <laughs> look at this. But yeah, I, I used to collect physical media. I remember there was one summer I spent over £200 on Ghibli films. Right. Yeah. What cause... were you smoking back then? Because <laughs> they weren't available on Netflix. True. And, yeah. and it's available now, but it's easily Yeah, moved this was like right? back in 2017. And I really wanted to see yeah. them, so... I had to buy the Blu-rays. Yeah, race. true. In, 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 in the best quality possible. So you it had was, to. It was the best quality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I sold them because I had no money left. So that's the good thing about physical yeah. media. You can sell them and get money yeah, off them. Yeah, you can buy and trade. Yep. Yeah. Talking yeah, about that as well, right. though. Talking about that, the um, stores like Game of, um, are stopping that, the buying and trading. Because um, they, they're not making any more money anymore. I used to go to that store all the time to play those um Yeah. Ah, uh, game. Is it still annoying them? Yeah, look, game is amazing about trading uh, pre owned games, UK retailer. Oh man. Game store. Dude, Google Chrome sucks. I'm gonna go on Firefox. It's so laggy. I've been using Edge. I've been using Edge. So that's my Blu ray collection and that's my D V D collection. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot, dude. That's that, that, a lot. That was my lot. collection over the years. Like, nine years of collecting. Dude, if you... Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But I stopped, like, in 2022, because... I just... It's just... It's not convenient, like you said. Like my, my okay, I understand. I understand that you have a Blu-ray for Interstellar, but did you really need one for the night in the museum? <laughs> yeah. I bought that like in 2016, I think, because I was gonna binge all of them, but I never did. Wow, some of these collections are really good, though. Like yeah, I've got like Akira. all the MCU films, the Spider-Man movies, got Attack on Titan, the final season up there, the Spider-Man Sam Raimi trilogy. Yeah, because with streaming, it's a lot cheaper, convenient. Yeah. But the downside is, it will probably be removed from the store. But there's store. always, like you know, those websites you can always. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. But yeah, I do get what you mean. There's no legal way for you to guarantee watching a movie on there. But I bought the Harry Potter movies like back in 2016 on Google Play, and it's, they're still on there. You know, they haven't gone. They're still there. Yeah, that's fair. That's yeah. I don't. I, I won't see that being <coughs> taken from you. Yeah. But hey, there might be a policy in the future where Google will be like, "Yeah, hey, sorry guys, terms and conditions true. are changing. Yeah. Um, 
your live your Google Play library is going to be terminated. Sorry, you know that could happen. Yeah, but the thing is, like with physical, like how many times am I going to rewatch the same movie again? You know, like exactly, exactly. I tend to just watch things once and then watch something else. I used to like rewatch stuff, but not anymore. You know, like just don't have the time anymore. You know, to do stuff like that. And like the Dragon Ball stuff, my gosh! Like I wanted to buy uh, the Z um, arc for cell games, but no. I tried looking for like cheap versions, alternative versions. But wow, it's just they're not they're not cheap. The DVDs are quite no. cheap, but they're four eighty p. That's not yeah. That's with with we'll past those yeah. days. And the Crunchyroll remaster is ten eighty p. So I'm like. I'd rather go for a Blu-ray, you know? 100%. Yeah, but that's I that. understand. But it's, you got to pick and choose your battles. Alvin and Chipmunks has got one. <laughs> I've got that when I was 10. <laughs> I still have it. <laughs> wow, you've had it since then. Yeah, when I was 10. So all those like, kid movies you see, like Scooby-Doo and all of the yeah. Simpsons movie. Like I had them when I was like 11, 12. I still kept them. I still kept them. Yeah, all these are old, dude. But yeah, I mean, yeah. It, I think you should start selling stuff, save yeah, up, I, get a PS5. I, I think so. Yeah. I don't even watch these films anymore, if I'm being honest. I think you are the last of the kind. I think I don't know anyone else who just buys physical media oh, no, anymore. I, like I st- that. I, dude, I stopped collecting since 2022. I haven't bought any since okay. then. Yeah. Just because of all these streaming sites, but yeah, I don't think anyone really does this our age anymore. If you, uh, I'll, I'll say this: if you see a film and you highly rate it, and it's so good, then yeah, yeah sure. Good. Yeah, like, like, I really want to get off. Spider Verse two on Blu-ray just because of the animation. You yeah, know. that's it. But you know, leave that in the museum and I'll be the Yeah, the door, d- you know? those those films I had when I was a kid, I still own them now. <laughs> <laughs> I need to sell them. Yeah. Show me the receipts. I don't trust you, I'll joke. I'll joke. All right, so with that out of the way, let's talk about the next topic: The Walking Dead. There are new spin-offs that are going to be released this summer. The Negan and Maggie show, I think, will be what released. What is a Negan and Maggie show? <laughs> Let me oh, show it gosh. to you. The Walking Dead Negan Maggie spinoff. It's called Dead City and Dead City is set to premiere on June 18th of this year. Wait, I think it already premiered last year. Did it? Why are people saying it's coming out now? I don't remember anything of Dead City or hearing anything about Dead City, so... Maybe it was the Rick and Michonne show. The Rick and Michonne series. That's, that came out this year. That yeah, came that's out the, this yeah, it must year. have been this one, yeah. The ones who live. Okay, but I've not heard of anything of Dead City. What the hell is that? Dead City is a spin-off with Negan and Maggie in New York fighting walkers with another group. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I just wanted to hear your opinion on The Walking Dead. Like, like, have you ass, finished it? Ass, have... Like, ass, 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 <laughs> ass. Did you like it even before it was ass? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, I can't remember when I last. I can't remember the season I got up to. Dude, I um, there was just too much of it. It was, it was. I felt like I was watching the same thing over and over again. Yeah, and I got bored, and I just, I stopped. So I, I said s- enough was enough, and I stopped. Okay, did you watch the Negan arc? I've seen that. I've seen um, the Lucille thing. The Lucille I've seen all stuff. That stuff. That was like cool. Glenn and Carl. It's past that. It was past that. I think the season afterwards, I stopped watching. So what, season nine? Did you see the season where Rick left? I think it was before. Okay. Season, uh, yeah. So you probably saw the end of season eight when Rick um, defeated... Or when Carl um, got, you know. Yeah, I walkers. think that was the last time I watched yeah. that show. You know, when got, got. Yeah. So I watched Beyond it. It got better and then it got worse, if in my opinion. <laughs> like, I really liked the early seasons with the governor. 
in my opinion. Yeah, that dude, that was. But then they started introducing all these side characters I didn't like. Yeah. It was shit. Yeah, like the show got really weird after season nine when Rick left. Like. You carry on watching. I can, I I've continued watching it, yeah, and then I gave up. Because oh, they announced the final season called season eleven, so I was like, "Oh, let me get ready for this final season." And then they were like, "Gotcha! We've got a spinoff with Rick and Michonne and Negan and Maggie and Daryl." And then we're gonna do a season twelve where they all yeah. reunite. In the, yeah, yeah, because Daryl's going to, I think he's going to Paris. Oh my god! Yeah, for his spinoff show. How is he getting to Paris? I have no idea. Apparently, from what I heard, there was some sort of arguments between him and uh, Maggie. And I don't know what happened, but he's left to go to France because apparently France may have to cure. So, that's what I've heard. Yeah, like, dude, for like multiple years, if there's apocalypse, there ain't no cure left, bro. There's no what, cure. <laughs> That's no yeah. cure. That's no cure at all. But yeah, I'm I'm so indifferent to the show. It's it's yeah. It was it was hype when it was at its peak, but it kind of fell off. Mm-hmm. Speaking of shows that fell off, do you know what day it is today? Thirteenth of May. What's the anniversary of? I don't know. It is the day Game of Thrones aired the bells when Danny burned King's Landing. <laughs> Shut up, <please. laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Well, what an atrocious episode. The thing is, is I that... remember when the leaks. Yeah, go on. I was going to say, the thing with this episode is that I didn't really mind the story. You know, like the over the idea of what was happening was cool, but it was just so rushed that it kind of, you know, yeah, it kind of didn't like it. But go on, what are we gonna say? Go on. I remember the leaks that were released for this episode. Oh yeah, and in the leaks it said, "Danny hears the bells ring and she gets mad and she destroys everything." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. I remember them with the petitions to remake it as well. Yeah. Yeah, Game of Thrones. But hey, we've got the House of the Dragon next month, so that's going to be fun. Yep. That'll be fun. It's going to be so much better. And oh, I've got this next topic to talk about the PS5 updates for the Helldivers fans. I think you may want to lead this one a bit because yeah um, essentially what happened was playstation i understand why playstation did this i i fully know why because they want to incorporate their own playstation store for the pc yeah because that's their long game they want to have their own like trophy supports in the pc Uh um like if, if you play like horizon zero dawn on the pc you're going to get like complete like challenges and you get trophies and those trophies are going to link to the PS5 version of the game or whatever, you know, it's all yeah. going to be linked under the PlayStation network. Issue is those games are tied to Steam. Oh, okay. And with Helldivers, yeah. And I don't know why they started with Helldivers now. Uh-huh. It's because to play Helldivers, you need a PSN ID, right? Right. To play the game. And that makes sense. If you play an Xbox game on PlayStation, you need an Xbox account. Yeah, that makes It's sense. like that with Minecraft. What I've seen before, it's fair. And you probably need one of Sea of, sea of Thieves. Mm, yeah. PC gamers are a bunch of bitches. But it makes <laughs> sense why they're upset as well, because there yeah. are, apparently there are certain countries that don't have access to PSN. It's not legal there. So that means... In order to play Helldivers 2, you need a PSN account. But once if your country doesn't have a P- doesn't allow PSN, you know, the PlayStation Network, you can't play that game. Over. Yeah, uh, I 
found the whole thing to so be that makes so... sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah, like I just found the whole thing to be kind of like bizarre that they wanted to do something like this. It, it feels like I know, and but to... it makes sense because it, but it also makes sense for PlayStation sides where they want their own ecosystem. They want yeah. their own, you know, PlayStation PC yeah, library. You know, they don't, they don't want to like commit to Steam. Mm. But that's where they messed up because they've already started with Steam with yeah. other games like Horizon Zero Dawn and Spike and so on and so forth. Mm. Yeah, I see what but, you mean there. And there's a new game as well, not a new game, but Ghost of Tsushima is a PS4 game that they're going to be releasing on a PC. You also need a PSN account now to oh, play boy. that game as well on the PC. And of course, people who have PCs in like those countries that don't allow a PlayStation Network. Yeah, they will never be able to play Ghost of Tsushima. So, it is a bizarre situation to be in, but they did shoot themselves in the foot by releasing yeah. their games on Steam first. Yeah, they kind of did. So, mm. yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's hard. It's I I understand completely what PlayStation want to do. But how they executed it was pretty poor. What did you think of the Lord of the Rings films? I don't remember them except for that big spider. Oh, they, I think that was in the third one. Yep. Yeah, we owned that on VHS. You had it on VHS? Uh, yep, we had it on VHS. I think we still do have it. Um, yeah, I don't really remember most of the Lord of the Rings films. So I might need to like, go back and watch it. How about yourself? I thought they were okay. I like the third one the most. The last one. I do. Um, uh, the what they call the, the black robe people. Oh yeah, they hunt people that have the ring or something. They they scary. They're pretty terrifying. Yeah, the, the dementors. That's what they call hmm. the dementors. They were the reason why Frodo got that injury in his chest I think yes 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 I'm not the biggest Lord of the Rings fan if I'm being honest like it's like, alright it's not a taste that everyone has yeah if we if we talk about the big three of like movie franchises Lord of the Rings Star Wars and Harry Potter I lean to more Star Wars and Harry Potter more what about you yeah 100%. I lead towards um, Harry Potter. Yeah, Harry Potter. I'm looking forward to that new show that I'm going to reboot. Reboot. It's going to be interesting. I wonder how they're going to pull it off. But it's going to be woke as hell. <laughs> That's for sure. As a fan of the books, because I read all the books, we need a show. Yep. You don't know half the things from those um, books. The movies are yeah, like... Probably. How can I say the movies are just like a a bullet point yeah, version of the books? Oh, yeah, yeah. There is so much that like you have all of Voldemort's backstory. You have characters get cut from the films, dude. Like, so I'm I'm looking forward. But what to... all oh. the movies pulled off? They did a good job, right? Or so the movies that did the books the best were the first two, in my opinion, and probably the last okay. movie. So Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and Deathly Hallows were the best ones. I think okay. the worst movies when it came to adaptation were Goblet of Fire, Goblet of Fire? and yeah. Half-Blood Prince. They were like, they were, oh gosh. like Goblet of Fire, the movie, is a completely different thing altogether it's the only... i really like Goblet of Fire. it's the I only the like thing with that awesome. film is it's the only movie that is completely different to the books all the other movies are they're kind of similar to the books but goblet of fire the movie is nothing like the books it's apart from the final battle with voldemort it's just so different like the vibe is yeah. just a very different vibe you know Interesting. Yeah. That'd be interesting to see. Hermione has a whole... I like it. I'll go see, yeah. I'll go see the original three in that TV series somehow incorporated. Hmm. Yeah. The Dursleys actually appear in the books more. 
So if they adapt the books better, then you'll see more Dursleys. Oh, okay. Who the fuck were the Dursleys? <laughs> Who the Dursleys? <laughs> Dudley Dursley. His um. Oh, cousins. Dudley. Oh, right, right. There you go. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I didn't realize that was their name. That was Dursley, their last name. So. Dudley Dursley. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. The first two, the movies, what you saw in the movies of the first two are basically the books. It's basically the okay. books. The third one is a bit different, I'm not gonna lie. It starts off similar, and then it goes into a different direction a little bit. It's the same story, it's just things happen differently than it did. Yeah. For pacing, what, right? For pacing news. The pacing of that movie was a bit too fast, in my opinion. Mm, interesting. Because you have like, there's just so much, like like with Lupin and his backstory and James, all well, that's cut out. But they, I, I get it. They had to do it for time, you know. And some things yeah. can't be adapted into movie form. If it was a TV show, then it would have been more aligned to the books. But it's a two-hour film, you know. You have to keep people's attentions up. The fourth movie was just the drama was all over the top. It was all over the place, like Dumbledore. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh, no. he was so out of character in Goblet of Fire. But hey, I am looking forward to the new incorporation of that TV show. Now. Yeah, to see how they do. But the fifth movie was good. What else is there? Oh yeah. Did you hear about the My Hero Academia uh, backlash regarding Shigaraki? No. Oh. Nope. I guess you haven't seen the new episode. It's just like a panel. Like the way he's drawn. You know. Is it a spoiler if you show no, me? Do you know what his design uh, looks like at the end of season six? Yeah, yeah, white hair. Yeah, I see. Yeah, you know. is it? It's, it's not a spoiler to show me that comparison, right? Okay. So that's the manga, and that's the anime. That looks awful. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Can you click on zoom in? But surely, um, it's 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 an animated scene, right? So that that cloak is going to be flowing around, right? Yeah. Well, does it stay like that for the Let entire shot? And... <laughs> I'm trying to find the scene. No, no, it's okay. Yeah. That. So it kind that, of is that. That is bad. Yeah. That but is bad. There is a close up shot of that cape. So it's this one. Yeah, that's pretty lazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, people were not happy about that. That's, yeah, I. Uh... I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> yeah, but but the animation for the rest of the episode is good. You know, it's just that one scene that people are mad about. Powerpuff Girls are trending? Powerpuff Girls are trending. Oh, wow. Let's have a read. The Powerpuff Girls can be spotted in the Bat's computer. Oh, that's the game. Vault versus it says. Oh, I see. It's like a Smash Brothers type book with Warner Brothers characters. Ah, I see. Ah. So there's a new Game of Thrones spin-off um, confirmed. Let me a new one. Link. It's A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms with six episodes directed by Owen Harris from Black Mirror. <laughs> it's going it's to be pretty hard to build a in that same universe, like, build characters you like. Mm -hmm. So, I wonder how well they do. Because um, I'm only watching that spin-off series for Matt Smith. Yeah. And that's what introduced me to the other characters, and that's what made me like that world. Mm -hmm. So, I wonder what star power they're going to add to this series. To get us to like it. Oh, who knows? Could be anyone. I just want George to finish his books, to be honest. 
He's not finishing it. It's over, bro. It's over. <laughs> he ain't finishing it. He, he's got the money he wants. I'm sure he has like an outline for the ending, so give it to someone else to finish I, it off. Maybe. I personally think he gave that outline to David and Dan. Yeah. And he, and Bran, or whatever his name is, that kid, he is yeah. going to be the king or whatever. Yeah. So I think that was the original vision. Yeah. But yeah, dude, it's uh, awful. I mean, it might make sense in the books, you know, like. Yeah, it could do, yeah. Because the books are always going to have so much more info and explanation, so maybe it works, you know? Because I know in the books, um, Catelyn Stark is still alive as a zombie or something like that. Yep, yeah, that's weird, yep. So, who knows? Yeah, anything can happen. Yeah, anything can happen in that. Oh, yeah, MCU. Let's talk about the MCU. Kevin Feige's latest comments. Let's read what he has to say. Kevin Feige says he's comfortable with the MCU being underdog. I prefer being able to surprise and exceed expectations. You have to live under a rock not to know that the last few Marvel films have failed to ignite the world in a way that so many did. Like Infinity War. But does he know why? Does he know the reason why it's due so poorly? I'm sure he's aware. He's not dumb, you know. Like, what would you say the reason is why it's been so poor so late? Just a constant output of content, you know. You have four, yeah oversaturation. You have three movies plus three TV shows a year. That's just too much. That's way yeah. too much. I can't even catch way up too to that. Much. You know. The MCU I think... worked as movies. They, I don't think they work as TV shows, in my opinion. Yeah, 100%, I agree. Mm. That that Fantastic Four is going to be the start of that reboot. I think so. Maybe and um, Galactus is going to be in it as well. Who's that? Galactus. You don't know about Galactus? No. Never heard oh, of that brother. one. You've not heard of Galactus? No, it's our comic character. The Eater... Is it the Eater of Worlds? Galactus? Oh, no, I've not heard of that one. Okay, well, he's going to be a nice surprise for you. Oh, nice. But yeah, the MC's just flopping because of... You have to, like, watch certain TV shows to understand films, like the Doctor Strange 2 film. It's... N normal, ordinary, average Joes don't have the time to watch three shows a year yeah. and three movies, you know, it's just too much. They worked as just three shows in a year and that's it. You People used to plan their entire year around these films, when they're going to watch it, who with and all that. You can't do that anymore because there's all these shows you have to watch now. So, it is what it is. And also, uh, it was catering to the common audience as well, not the hardcore. So a lot of people who, you know, don't really give a shit about the Marvel Universe were like, hey, this looks cool, I'm going to watch it. And then they have that tease at the end of the film. Mm -hmm. If you're interested, it, you know, the story continues, you can watch it. And then when they do the big group up film, like the Avengers, like, hey, remember these characters? Well, they're going to be in a film together. Check it out. I don't think Kevin Feige can call themselves the underdog, to be honest. I think that's a bit of a cop-out. They're not... They, I think... I don't... They're still on top of everything, to be honest with you. They have the power. They have the money. They, they're not... A, it's not Iron Man 1, you know? Yeah, that's true. You're, you're still doing... freaking Wolverine and... Dead food, dude. You know, that's no... That's not an underdog thing. But yeah, that's my thing. I just hope Deadpool reboots the whole MCU. Yeah. I wonder how they can pull it off. Have you seen the trailer for it? I did, have you? No, but I've seen clips of it. We should watch it right now together. It's actually pretty good. 
Mm, I was going to, but I might go in blind. But I know the TV. Oh, spoilers! Oh. Yeah, I, I don't. Fair enough. I know the TVA um, star in it. I wonder. I just wonder how they edit. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, have you heard of the new Doctor Who episode? Have you seen it? No, is it out? It came out on Friday. It it didn't do that well. A hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes. That's crazy. But, but audience score. Yeah, but you have haters in there. You know that it's could be also thirty complete, reviews you know, like anyway. I want to see what's yeah. up now. Like that could be uh, that could easily be a review bomb. Uh, the Sheeta Gatwa series. What's it called? Season. Did they call it season one or was it series 20? I have no idea. Uh, series. It's a reboot of season one, so. It's a reboot of season one? Well, no, in the, if you go to the, the BBC iPlayer. Yeah. They class it as season one. Why? Is it like a, a reboot? Series. I'm guessing they're rebooting it then. I think at least so. Oh boy. I might be bugging. I might be bugging, but I think they did. Uh, you're yeah, right. Season, season one. one. What on earth? So what hmm. about the others? Like... Doctor Who. That 2005, 2005 to 22. So there's... Oh, okay. So that era of Doctor Who ended with Jodie Whittaker then? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Weird. That's so weird. Now let's go back in time. Ah, classic episodes. It's, it's so good. It's so good. From here... All the way up until about here, that's where Doctor Who was at its best for me. And then, from dude, he here, this Doctor also he also has good shit as well. Yeah, can't sleep on it. But I wasn't a fan of this season, if I'm being honest. Like, I, I like the first two episodes, yeah, they... but eh, I, I I just I barely remember anything from it. This was a good episode. When he's trapped yeah, in this place. Said, yeah, when he's trapped. Yeah. I remember that. That was a good episode. But man, the classics. Well, not the classics, the modern classics, if I'm being honest. Mod with classics, Christopher yeah. Eccleston and Rose Tyler, David Tennant, David Tennant with Martha, David Tennant with Donna, Matt Smith with Amy and Rory. That's good. Oh, this was my favorite. I, I love this episode. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's this so good. This episode and Amy's Choice are my favourites. The 11th Hour. Yeah. Such a good name because he's the 11th Doctor. Yeah. And also, the, the enemy didn't know who he was. And then Matt Smith was like, Google me, you'll know. Yeah. And then they Googled him. And then like, oh shit, we're out of the road. The first half of this was pretty good. Like, I did yeah. like... Up until about here, I was like, eh... But then the finale was good. That was okay. Yeah. And the season seven was a mixed bag. I liked the first five episodes. And then... Eh, and then it was like, got good again. Then it got good again. And you click on the snowman episode. Go up. The snowman. Ah, oh, this was good. I like this one. It's like the... It's in around the second bar. The They're on the rooftop, the and then they're being chased by the ice creature. This is under attack. The outside of the park. Yeah, this this is around here. Stop it! No! No! No one can control clouds. That would be silly. It's smaller on the outside. Okay. Dude, that's <laughs> it's so damn good. <laughs> yeah. It's so damn good. <laughs> He flips on that switch, the music comes in, yeah, you see yeah. that smoke on his face, it's, mm -hmm. you know. 
It's all mine. Yep, yeah, this was Doctor Who at its peak. Yep, can't deny that. Can't deny that. Yeah, man. It kind of lost its spark around here, season 10, season 11, with Jodie Whittaker. I actually haven't seen this controversial episode yet. We're in the very far future. Seven humans left. Cyber drones. Yeah, yeah, when you told me about that, <laughs> that they, yeah, I don't know. They they were playing with fire when they made that change. Oh, my gosh. And they did not care. That is what it so is. That, that, so what they're implying then is um, they must have, he must have died as a child and then yeah. reincarnated as a white boy. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, there, there's the scene. Oh, I just missed it. Yeah, here it is. A catastrophe. That's another girl. I thought it would be the first wait. doctor. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait, 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 there was another one there before the white kid? There was another one. How many times did this kid die? <laughs> <laughs> How many times did he die? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. that, that a, I thought it was good. Oh my god. Okay, that was a guy. I thought it was. Okay. So you turn it to another girl. Okay. No, that's just a G code. Like, imagine if you just got ugly, you just start killing yourself. Yeah. Landscape to explore for all of the child's regenerations. Whoa, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> so that kid kept changing into different kids. Take Tayun grew old, tested the theory on herself. Oh, put her own life on the line. What happened to the kids? <laughs> Regenerate. Oh shit, I'm a man. Planet of Gallifrey evolved. Yeah, I can't lie. No. Knowledge and ability. I they it should just keep the base, you know? Yeah. Like <laughs> this is just way too convoluted. Heart. I'm just so confused. I'm like, what? Center. None of that made any sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I I'm just like, what the heck? <laughs> but yeah, that's Doctor Who, modern day. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, it's stupid. <clears throat> How the mighty have fallen. Just finish at season 10 when Capaldi leaves. Oh, nice. Yeah. This is what fans say the true finale of Doctor Who when Capaldi left. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm retconning everything after. Yeah, I feel like season 11 onwards is just fan fiction at that point. Yeah. It's uh, we're watching a uh, what's you call it? Yeah. A, uh, a ma what's it called? A uh, like Daisy Ridley, Daisy oh. Ridley, her what, Daisy Sue, what was it called? It's yeah, it's like that. It's like a mm. what do they call it? <laughs> Mary Sue. Mary Sue, yeah. It's not canon. <laughs> and plus, yeah. it's not even the sh same showrunner who's doing this. It's a completely different guy. Yeah. This was all Stephen Moffat from. The beginning of Matt Smith to the end of Capaldi was all one guy who did a show running for it. Mm. So, yeah, it's what it is. That's Doctor Who. Yeah, what a tragedy. We were so. We had the peak, the absolute peak, and now we've dropped to, yeah, this shit. <laughs> Doctor Who star Sheeta Gatwa responds to the racist slash homophobic backlash. Turn off the TV and go touch some grass. Who <laughs> <laughs> said oh. the, the Doctor, the new Doctor. It's not really because of diversity, it's just because it's not written well. I feel like it's lost its identity as well. Yeah. It's not really what it was. Yep. Yeah. It's not the show I liked. Yeah. <clears throat> Random elements story's exactly. got a bit yeah. confusing, I just tapped out. Yeah, tapped out, tapped out there. Yo, who the hell would punch Steve Buscemi? What the <laughs> fuck, bruh? It's, uh, it's Steve Buscemi, man. Yeah, I have no idea who it was. That's uh, Scuba Steve, man. 
Scuba Steve. Ah, some people are jealous of the wealthy. Damn, we only came 18th in the Eurovision. What? We came 18th place in the Eurovision. Switzerland won. Ah. You watch Eurovision? I used to when I was a kid, but I stopped. Yikes. I only watched the results. Oh, I said that I don't watch it. I like singing. I don't listen to like same music and stuff like that much. So I don't, uh, you know, I never tuned in. To okay. It. Also, my type of scene. Fair enough, fair enough. My bad. I didn't realize. <laughs> You'll mute for the whole Yeah, because X Factor, I just skipped. Oh, like, stuff like X Factor, I didn't watch because it was. Britain's Got Talent is okay. It's I fun. Just... Yeah, it's all right, but I always fast forward the singing parts. Movies. Not much, actually. Not much. Not until June. Yeah, the just the big one I know of is um, Deadpool, really. Deadpool and Wolverine and Inside Out 2 is coming what out. What the hell is Jedi Junkies? What's Jedi Junkies? I have no idea. Uh... Training people how to use lightsabers, the person in charge goes, I'm sorry, could you say that again, please? I'm swimming with Star Wars, and that does exist. Yeah, I learned early on, I'm an artist, that's what I do, it's what I... It's a fan documentary. Okay. Or drugs? <laughs> the best dad, it's what... Jedi yeah. junkies? I love... It's just fans junkies. talking about their love for Star Wars. That's cool. It is what it is. Yeah, there's just oh. a whole lot of films coming out. 2024 movies. And yeah, and there's uh, I, I know I know you're not into the game stuff, but there's a lot to talk about as well because um oh yeah Microsoft um uh, closed down three of its game studios down recently in the past few days. Um, oh moly, that's a shocking one. You know, they, they that's something we can expand on next oh, yeah. week's podcast. Whatever. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And that also fits into with subscription and physical media as well, because Xbox has Game Pass. And oh, that's yeah. also like a Netflix, a Netflix model of a subscription, where you could just, you know, pay however a month and just play these games, this long list of libraries, but you don't own it. Yeah, and we can also true. talk about if it's working for them or not. Because oh, um, they yeah. just recently closed three studios. Cool. All right. Cool. Yeah. I'll make a list for next week. But yeah, dude, I'll yeah. probably catch you next week. Same time. This has been the Boy Dude Productions. Podcast. Signing out. All right. See you, dude. See you, dude.